What is up, YouTube? That's here, bringing you guys another episode of In It to Winter. We are still playing with the Blitzkrieg team. It's going to be King's Rock Raichu, Choice Bex Tapu Koko, Choice Garf Tapu Lele, Life Orb Veramosa, Focus Sash Pelipper, and Watery MZ Golduck. We still have a few more games to play with this team before I switch on to something new. I do feel uh, like I've gotten a much more stable analysis of the met current metagame at this point with this team because I'm so familiar playing with it. I might still end up using this team for Anaheim, I don't really know yet, but I do feel comfortable with this team. I do feel like it's a team that's good in best of one and best of two. There's so many like little gimmicks that this team just has a bunch of opportunity to always win a game, no matter, you know, what the circumstances. So we're going to hop into some games today and see if we can uh, win some more. Let's see if we hit any well-known players because right now it's a, it's currently a prime time when I'm recording this game to uh, to hit some high-level players. So hopefully we hit some pretty well-known people. Let's hop into some games and see if we can uh, make it happen. Here we go. All right, so the first guy isn't really well-known because he's from Japan and uh, I mean it might be somebody I don't really know but it's going to be Snorlax, Mandibuzz, Lele, Arcanine, Garchomp Metagross. It's going to be like a Lele Metagross core, and I really like Lele Metagross even with the Mandibuzz. This is the type of team I've actually run, I think I ran it like a month ago. I think it's the same exact six. Obviously, they're going to be a lot different, but I'm very comfortable playing against this team and with this team, so I think I should be all right. The biggest problem here is that he's going to be using Lele, which means it's going to be really hard for me to gain correct topic control. Raichu's really bad against like Lele because I can't fake out, and I can't lead Coco versus Lele because then the Lele's ability would just activate, so it's, it's really hard to gain the correct uh, you know, advantage in this situation. They're already locked in. I'm thinking about still going Coco Raichu, because I can just fake out HP Ice at Garchomp, but then we get a Tailwind up. You know, we're actually just going to double duck, because if guy doesn't have any Tailwind support, so we kind of have to. Yeah, we're just going to double duck this one. And then, it's at 33 seconds. I'm thinking if I want to bring Mosa. I think Mosa's probably alright, but there's most likely a Specs. Or sorry, not Specs. There's most likely a Scarf in there somewhere. I'm thinking it might be Scarf Lele. I'm thinking... And uh, some Pokemon are bad against Scarf Lele. You know, we're going to bring Coco and Feramosa. We're going to bring the last two Pokemon that can really deal with the Metagross if Metagross gets going. So these are our four. We're bringing Pelipper, Golduck, Feramosa, and Coco. Very, very aggressive. And we're going to see if we can... Uh, maybe maybe we'll have to trade Tailwinds. But uh, I, I think that trading Tailwinds and KOing one of his Mons and then just leaving the Mandibuzz on the board for a while... Might not be that bad of an idea. Uh, I just really don't want to get gimped by a random scarf before I can like get my speed control up. That's the way we're trying to play it. So we see Lele and Metagross. I think this is all right. Uh, let's see when abilities activate. So Psychic is activating. Uh, that should be activating before Drizzle, anyways. But you know it could still be like a scarf Lele, which would be rather weird. So if I had Protect on my Golduck, I would think about using Protect Tailwind. Uh, just because, because like I don't want to lose my gold for free. I want to get the Metagross off the board. I think the Metagross is definitely the thing you want to get off the board here. I might just switch out my Pelipper for Coco, because it would make it so my Golduck would live a Psychic. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So we're going to switch Coco in. And then we're going to Z move the Metagross. Hopefully it's not like Vested. Hopefully it just goes down to the Hydro Vortex. Get Metagross off the board. Hopefully Golduck lives for another turn. Reset the terrain. Hopefully it's not a Scarf Lele. And then Coco can just one-shot it back with the Thunder. So that's the play we're going for here. It might not be the best play, but it is what we're going for. Maybe he's going for like a weird bullet punch, uh, like Psychic into my Pelipper slot. That'd be funny. So it uh, looks like no one's protecting. I'm happy to see no protects and sad because it almost makes me think that that is a vest on the Metagross and I really don't want to see vest of Metagross. You know what? It's probably a weakness policy Metagross because he was pairing it with an Arcanine who, you know, the combo right there is bulldoze with Arcanine, uh, hit your own Metagross, doesn't lower its speed and activates its weakness policy. So hopefully this Metagross goes down. That's like the big thing. And Metagross going down, that's huge for me. Metagross is such a pain in the butt for a lot of Pokemon. He's going for the Psychic onto... Oh, Really? Really? He was targeting my Pelipper! That's bad. That's not good for me. Okay, uh, that's really, really not good for me. Um, because we don't know if he's Scarfed yet, either. That sucks. I really thought that my- I th really thought he was gonna target the Golduck, because Lele- Oh, he didn't take Life Orb damage, either, which really is another tell that he is Scarfed. Yeah, I'm just gonna protect with Mosa this turn. And, uh, Hydro Pump the Lele. Because I really- I think it's a Scarf Lele, because he didn't take Life Orb damage, either. And he had, like, no fear in what he was doing. His convictions were true. So, yeah, we're just going to Hydro Pump. We have to hit the Lele with the Hydro Pump. I don't even know if it KOs it, but it should put it within range for an Ice Beam. So, Feramosa's protecting. Uh, if we see him Psychic by Mosa, you know he has to be Scarfed. 
Snorlax is protected, we can Encore that next turn if everything goes according to plan. I guess he's trying to block a high jump kick. And Hydro Pump hits on the Lele, that's huge. Hopefully this just KOs it, or puts it within range for Ice Beam. Looks like it puts it within range for Ice Beam, he goes for Psychic. Very most of blocks it. So we're in a very, very good spot right now. All we have to do is hit a high jump kick on Snorlax, and then Ice Beam the Lele, and we should be in a good spot. Yeah, that Lele is totally, totally scarfed. And uh, another thing is, like, I could have just poison jabbed the Lele with Mimosa, and, you know, took it out, but remember, it's scarfed. Like, I don't want to deal with that right now. So, uh, the correct play here is to uh, Ice Beam the Lele, High Jump Kick the Snorlax. Going for the Protect when I sent my Mosa, I was also a very good read of the game, I think. You gotta look at his whole team as, like, a whole. You gotta, you gotta try and pinpoint which items are on which Pokemon. And I'm, I'm placing a lot of, a lot of oomph on that that Lele is... Uh, choice scarfed, you know, because he's not taking life orb damage, he's not flinching, he's not, yeah, he's switching it out, like, he's not protecting, uh, so, yeah, this is completely fine, he's gonna switch Manibuzz in, and now that we know Manibuzz is the last Pokemon, I really think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be fine, alright, so that's gonna happen, all we gotta do is hit a high jump kick, there we go, those are things that I take, there we go. So remember the Lele, yeah, he just DC'd. Rage quit. That is a rage quit and a half. We take rage quits here on this one. Uh, you know, he just was like, ah, I can't believe this guy doesn't lose the Scarf Lele. And, uh, yeah, well, that's it. Because I'm using Scarf Lele. I know how Scarf Lele works better than anybody. Uh, he got a pretty good KO on my Coco, but that is not enough to win the game. Not when I'm playing on point. So remember, with DCs, if you get sent back out into the Festival Plaza, you DC'd, but if you're still here, they DC'd. And that's a rage quit. Alright, so our next opponent is going to be using Double Drag and a little bit of Garchomp Salamence, uh, as well as Arcanine, Gastrodon, Celesteela, and Bulu. Bulu, huh? It looks like this is a job for Pheromosa Raichu. You can go fake out anything that's a problem, you Ice Beam the Dragons, you High Jump Kick and Poison Jab, everything else. Yeah, we got Pheromosa Raichu here. I can't bring Double Duck, there's a, like, long story short, there is a Gastrodon over there. Gastrodon eats up Double Duck. Right? I still want to bring it. Now, I have to bring the Tapus. Tapus are so good uh, against most of this. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, we'll bring Double Tapu. He's locked in as well. Alright, I was gonna, I was gonna talk, I guess I could have just not locked in and talked about other stuff for the rest of the 30 seconds. But anyways, we're going into the game. And, uh, hopefully... There's some Pokemon that get Ice Beamed. That's the play. Uh, if anything, what we're going to do, if we see Garchomp and Salamence, I think I might fake out Ice Beam with the Garchomp, because I think the Garchomp's scarfed. Whenever we see the Garchomp, you have to assume that the Garchomp's going to be scarfed. That's pretty much how this one's going to play out. So you'll add two things that j might not get one-shotted by stuff. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fake out the Steela and High Jump Kick the Gastrodon. That's the play we're going to go for. We might be able to KO Gastrodon with High Jump Kick. Maybe. High jump kick into the Gastrodon. Yeah, I mean, if he, if I miss, I just encore it. If they if they protect and well, I I would like to hit it right. I would like to him to not protect and just eat this in the face. That's the plan that we're going for. But yeah, we'll see what happens. He's withdrawing Steela. Is he coming in with Salamence? It's Arcanine. All right, so he will definitely be living unless I unless I crit. Uh, crit would be pretty nice too. I would take that, and uh, I I guess he can. That's a pretty good switch, not gonna lie. That's a good switch. Because he knows I'm fake outing that slot, so it's like, what is he switching in on 2%, you know? And uh, I high jump kick, and it's gonna let the Gastrodon easily live. And then Scald, I don't think KOs me back, but he can burn me, which would be incredibly misfortunate. Oh gosh, I didn't get burned. Oh man, it's my lucky day, isn't it? Alright, so the, the only problem here is he now can just protect me out. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Psychic that Gastrodon and hard switch in my Lele in the other slot. So it would be blocking Extreme Speeds, and it would boost the power of the Psychic from my uh, from my Raichu. I think it's a pretty decent play. They're mostly going to come back later when all the juicy dragons are out to get Ice Beamed. And here we go. We're going to activate Psychic Terrain. Hopefully my opponent's not switching out into Bulu. Don't switch into Bulu. There's the E-Speed. We block those. And uh, Psychic... Coming in, remember this is boosted now. Can we KO Gastrodon? Yes, we can. It's awesome. This is awesome. And next turn, we're going to take it up another level. We're going to come... Oh, please send your Steela out. Just send the Steela out. I want to see Steela. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to go for it, guys. I'm going to go for a sick play. Uh, if you guys know my team, 
Think about what I would do if I was me with this board. You know what I got in the back? I got Coco and Feromosa. So, the last play we did was we switched to and Layla to power up our Psychic to give ourselves a KO. We're going to do the same thing this turn. We're going to switch out Raichu for Coco. It's going to activate the Electric Terrain. And we're going to pop a Thunder <laughs> onto that Steel. And now this is not stabbed. It's, uh, it's not in the rain. But I have faith and I'm feeling it. I'm totally feeling this right now. And remember, I'm Choice Scarfed. Like, this Thunder is my life. I'm locked into this forever, but he's he only has potentially one more ground Pokemon on the Garchomp left, so I feel that I I've gained enough of an advantage to to go for this really ballsy play because it's it's hilarious. Come on, Thunder! Yes, <laughs> yes. I don't even know if this KOs, but this is still funny. Look at the damage! Ah, oh, come on. We don't KO. Oh, come on! I wanted a KO. He's not gonna kill my Layla with that. Oh, he might kill my Coco though. Yep, Coco goes down. Coco goes down. There's a roll on Coco to go down to Flare Blitz. Kind of sucks. He goes for a Flash Cannon. That won't KO my Lele, though. That was hilarious, regardless. That was still funny. Okay, how do I want to win this one correctly, then? I think I'm going to have to Thunder that Arcanine. Okay. Um, I have Mosa. I can't send out Mosa until uh, Arcanine's gone. Hmm. Raichu's gonna re-hit the board. Raichu's now super fast thanks to Surge Surfer. Yeah, I'm gonna thunder that Arcanine. I think Psychic can take out uh, Steela from here. Here we go. And if Cell Steela protects, we just uh, encore it. Alright, roll for Thunder number two! No, who needs the rain? Who, who needs it? Cell Steel's protecting, that's gonna be encore. Come on, hit this thunder. Hit this thunder, KO this Arcanine. E-speed! Yo, go for it, champ. You're not- you're weak! We bo he, he get blocked, and... Ah, <laughs> two thunders! <laughs> Bro, this is so awesome. Oh my gosh, this is the best day of my life. This isn't even, like, good tech, but, alright, long story short, longest story short, uh, I used to play a lot of singles uh, back in, like, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6. I played mostly singles. I was, like, a big singles player, and uh, one of my favorite sets was a Serene Grace Blissey with uh, Thunder and a bunch of other stuff. And I always was just like... Thunder is just the play. Thunder is the play forever. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I think I'm going to Encore up the Steela. Because I, I can right now. And I think I'm going to Thunder the Salamence. I don't think I don't think KO Salamence with Thunder. That's a forfeit. That's a forfeit. We hit with two Thunders. Ah, but, uh, yeah, so I, I, I actually have a, just a lot more confidence using Thunder and putting myself in positions where I have the chance to miss Thunders. Like, a lot of people are like, yeah, Hydro Pump, you know, it can miss, but I don't mind using Hydro Pump because they've conditioned themselves in using Rotom Wash for so many years that, like, eh, using Hydro Pump, you know, you miss one out of every five. That's, like, the accuracy. Same thing with Thunder. You know, you have to just... It's it's a little it's a little bit harder to condition yourself for because it it's seventy percent accuracy. But if you're comfortable using thunder and making it like working it into your playstyle you, without rain, of course, because like I didn't use the rain that that game. Thunder is just a really good move. Like power it up by the terrain. It makes it it makes it kind of like Salele stabs it. That's kind of what the terrain does there. But a pretty cool game. I took a ton of risks, but like we styled on that guy. We're like I'm a thunder this. I'm a thunder this. And it was, it was pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about these games in the comments below. Do you like using moves that aren't 100% accuracy, like Thunder, like Hydro Pump, like other stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.